We often hear about the conflicts, but what about the untold stories, the hidden gems that paint a richer, more vibrant picture of Palestine? Today, we're on a mission to uncover the truth with 10 lesser known facts about Palestine that often go unnoticed. Stick around, because we're about to peel back the layers of misconception and reveal a side of Palestine that will inspire, educate, and captivate you like never before. Fact one, over 45% of the land in Palestine is dedicated to olive trees. Prepare to be amazed by the deep cultural and symbolic significance of olive trees in Palestine. These ancient trees are more than just a source of income. They embody the Palestinians' profound connection to their land and their unwavering resilience in the face of adversity. Olive trees, with their drought-resistant nature and ability to thrive in poor soil conditions, serve as a powerful metaphor for the Palestinian people's ability to withstand tough circumstances. Many families have inherited olive groves for generations, a tradition that parallels the protracted history of the Palestinian struggle. But it's not just about economics or agriculture. It's also about family, community and heritage. The olive harvest is a sacred time for Palestinians, a time when families come together to work the land and reflect on the legacy of their ancestors who tended to the trees before them. Furthermore, olive trees are a lifeline for around 80,000 Palestinian families, providing vital income and sustenance. With almost half of the agricultural land in the West Bank and Gaza planted with olive trees, these ancient guardians of the land continue to play a vital role in sustaining Palestinian livelihoods and preserving their cultural heritage. Fact 2. Palestinians drink unsweetened bitter coffee at funerals. In Palestine, funerals are more than just ceremonies of farewell. They're a time for reflection, remembrance and communal solidarity. One of the most striking aspects of Palestinian funeral rituals is the serving of unsweetened bitter coffee. Served dark and bitter, this coffee reflects the solemnity of the occasion and serves as a symbol of mourning and respect for the departed. As families and extended relatives gather to mourn the loss of a loved one, they partake in this bitter brew, each sip a poignant reminder of the life and qualities of the deceased. It's a somber, yet deeply meaningful ritual that underscores the depth of Palestinian grief and the importance of communal support during times of loss. Through the sharing of bitter coffee and the recounting of cherished memories, Palestinians honor the legacy of those who have passed away, finding solace in the collective embrace of family and community. Fact 3. Christmas is celebrated three times a year in Palestine. While Christmas is typically associated with December 25th in Western tradition, in Palestine, the celebration takes on a unique twist. Due to the different calendars followed by the region's Christian churches, Christmas is celebrated three times a year. Western churches, such as the Catholics and Protestants, observe Christmas on December 25th in alignment with the Gregorian calendar. However, the majority of Christians in the area, belonging to the Eastern Orthodox churches, commemorate the birth of Christ two weeks later, on January 7th, following the Julian calendar. And if that wasn't intriguing enough, the Armenian community adds another layer to the festivities by celebrating Christmas on January 19th. Imagine three separate Christmas observances each with its own traditions, rituals and cultural significance, showcasing religious diversity and unity in Palestine. It's a proof of the vibrant faiths that call this land home and a celebration of the enduring spirit of tolerance and coexistence. Fact 4. Earth's lowest natural point of elevation is found in Palestine. Nestled within the borders of Palestine lies the majestic Dead Sea a geological marvel that boasts the lowest natural point of elevation on our planet. At approximately 430 meters below sea level, the shores of the Dead Sea mark the nadir of Earth's topography, offering a surreal landscape of salt-encrusted shores and shimmering turquoise waters. But don't let its name fool you. The Dead Sea is very much alive with activity. Its mineral-rich waters have drawn visitors for millennia, seeking relief from a myriad of ailments and skin conditions. 
Bathing in the Dead Sea is said to have therapeutic properties, thanks to its high levels of minerals such as magnesium, potassium, and calcium. The Dead Sea isn't just a curiosity of geography, it's also steeped in history and legend. So, the Dead Sea has drawn visitors for centuries, seeking relief from ailments and rejuvenation of the body and spirit. But perhaps most striking is the sheer otherworldliness of the Dead Sea surroundings. Surrounded by rugged desert terrain and towering cliffs, this ancient body of water exudes an ethereal beauty that captivates the imagination and leaves a lasting impression on all who behold it. Fact 5. The old stereotype of camels everywhere in Palestine is untrue. While camels may have once roamed the land in abundance, the reality today paints a different picture. Contrary to popular belief, camels are no longer everywhere in Palestine. Over the years, their numbers have dwindled significantly, with just over 2,000 camels remaining in Gaza and the West Bank, and similarly, thin numbers in Israel. Palestinians who grew up in cities like Jerusalem, Jaffa and Haifa during the British Mandate era may recall a different landscape altogether, one marked by literary societies, excursions in the first automobiles, cinema screenings and political affiliations, rather than encounters with camels. Today, camels are primarily relegated to the realm of tourist attractions where they offer photo opportunities for visitors eager to experience a taste of traditional Palestinian culture. Fact 6. The old name of Palestine was Philistia. Long before it was known as Palestine, the land was referred to as Philistia, a name derived from the Philistines, a people of Aegean origin who settled on the southern coast of Palestine in the 12th century BCE. Occupying a small pocket of land between modern Tel Aviv Yafo and Gaza, the Philistines established a distinct culture and identity in the region. Their legacy lives on in the name Philistia, which came to denote the land of the Philistines. It was from this designation that the entire country later came to be known as Palestine by the Greeks, a name that has endured through millennia of history and conquests. Fact 7. Large wild animals are all over Palestine. Thanks to its varied terrains, ranging from rugged mountains to fertile valleys, Palestine boasts a stunning array of large, wild animals that roam freely across its landscapes. From the majestic wolves prowling through the forests to the elusive leopards stalking their prey, Palestine is teeming with life at every turn. Keep your eyes peeled for sightings of the Nubian ibex, scaling the rocky cliffs or the graceful mountain gazelles bounding across the plains. Whether you're trekking through the rugged terrain of the Judean mountains or exploring the lush oases of the Jordan Valley, be sure to look out for these incredible creatures that call Palestine their home. It's a wildlife enthusiast's paradise, where every corner holds the promise of an unforgettable encounter with nature at its most raw and untamed. Fact 9. Palestine has a youthful population. With a median age of just 20.8 years, Palestine boasts one of the youngest populations in the world. To put this into perspective, consider that the median age of Monaco, the world's most elderly country, is 55.4 years, while Niger, with the lowest population median age, stands at just 14.8 years. In Palestine, approximately 30% of the population is under the age of 24, reflecting a vibrant and dynamic society shaped by the energy and aspirations of its youth. Despite facing numerous challenges, young Palestinians are driving change and innovation, shaping the future of their nation with resilience and determination. However, alongside its youthful vigor, Palestine also grapples with a low life expectancy, standing at 74.62 years. Despite these challenges, the spirit of optimism and hope burns bright in the hearts of Palestinians as they strive to build a better tomorrow for generations to come. Fact 10. You can use various currencies here. While the Israeli new shekel, NEIS, is the main currency in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, travelers will find a range of accepted currencies for various transactions. In addition to the shekel, the Jordanian dinar, JOD, and the United States dollar, USD, 
are also widely accepted as payment in some cases. The shekel is typically used for most day-to-day -day transactions, while the Jordanian dinar is favored for larger purchases, such as land, cars, and houses. Furthermore, it's not uncommon to encounter transactions conducted in euros, particularly in areas frequented by international tourists. However, it's essential to note that not all currencies are accepted everywhere, so it's advisable to inquire about preferred payment methods beforehand. With that said, thanks for watching and make sure to tune into our next exciting video.